Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kalunga. And in this presentation, we want to look at a very interesting topic in mathematics called algebra. Algebra is very cardinal in such a way that it is applied in almost all the topics in mathematics. So it's not an optional kind of topic. Please pay attention as we discuss so that you understand every step. This comes in all the papers in mathematics. Well, algebra. Algebra can be defined, can be described in so many ways. But I thought this definition here will be very easy for you to understand. Algebra is the part of mathematics in which letters are used to represent numbers and quantities. In which what? Letters are used to represent numbers and quantities. Now let me take you back, a little bit back in grade 1, grade 2, somewhere there. We were given mathematical sentences or mathematical equations of this nature. When the teacher says 2 plus box is equal to 10, what's the correct answer for the box here? We can recall that it is what? 8. You get the point? 8. That is correct. It's only 8 that can be in this box here for us to get a 10 there. Now, instead of using the box, this level here, we are saying we'll be able to use letters to represent numbers. And also, instead of using the box, we'll say, okay, let's do this. Have you seen? 2 plus x is equal to 10. So, we are saying we are using letters to represent numbers and quantities. So, this was some of the equations that we encountered during that time. I hope we are following. Now, we are not talking about equations here. Let's look at this expression here. We have 3x plus 4. This is called an algebraic expression. This is an expression. The moment you equate an expression to something, look at this. 2 plus x ending here. This is an expression. But when I equate it to something like equal to 10, it becomes what? Equation. Understand those things. So an expression here, you equate the moment you introduce this equal sign to something. It's no longer an expression, but it becomes what? Equation. So now our interest is on this expression here. 3x plus 4. In this expression that you are seeing, each term, so this is a term here, this is a term as well, has a meaning. Let's start with a 4. This 4 here, what does it mean? Any number in an expression without a letter, without a letter, that number is called a constant. So this 4 here is constant. It's not having any letter. Then we also have these letters here. Have you seen? the letters in mathematics we will not be using the word letters the 26 letters of the english alphabet we will not be using that word letters letters there's a special word that we use in mathematics what is that special word the special word for letters it can be a b c d up to z these will be able to call them variables variables so please understand these terms as i'll be using them uh, throughout the discussion so these are variables then any number in front of a variable any number in front of a variable that number will be called like the way three is here so that number will be called the coefficient coefficient okay so here when i say what's the coefficient of x 
you will be able to tell me to say okay coefficient of x is 3 okay hope we are following so this is an algebraic expression these are terms this is the term this is the term so here we have got two terms the four here stands for constant since it doesn't have the letter or variable this letter will be called variables then the number in front of a variable is the coefficient we now move on to examples algebraic expressions can be simplified algebraic expressions can be factorized algebraic expressions can be expressed as single fractions Hope we are together those terms, eh? So, in an algebraic expression like this, I cannot ask you, or in the exam, they cannot say, solve this. No, it can't work. Because it is an expression. They can only ask you to solve in what? In an equation, not in an expression. So, in expressions, they will only be able to ask you to simplify, to factorize, to express in a single fraction such terms hope we are together so we have this example here which says simplify part a 3m minus 2m what is the answer b 4x plus 3y what is the answer we also have c here now before we can look at one after the other i want you to understand that there are rules that we follow in expressing or in simplifying these algebraic expressions. What are these rules? Well, the rules will bear four operations. And when I say operations, I'm talking about these four. Plus, minus, multiplication and division. So now the rules for addition and subtraction are the same then these also here have got the same rules the rules here are not the same here so get me very well in this video we'll be able to look at the rules for these two when should you add algebraic expressions when should you subtract what are the rules that you must follow number one let's look at this hope we're together let's look at this 3m minus 2m what is the answer some of you start saying no this is the uh, one others will say m others will say a lot of answers but what is the correct answer rule you need to pick you write somewhere only add only add or subtract algebraic expressions that are like terms full stop what have I said? Only add or subtract algebraic expressions that are like terms. And when I say like terms, what do I mean? I'm talking about same letters or terms that have got same letters, numbers, not whereby you have, here I said we have two terms. We have this term, this is one thing, 3x. We also have this term here, 4. Are they the same? The answer is no. This term here has got x. Do we have x here? No. Therefore, what do the rules say? You can't add them. This will remain like that. It's like when I have oranges and apples. Yes, both are fruits. But can I add them? No. No. I have two oranges, three apples. I cannot say five orange apple. No. Because they are not the same. Hope we are together. But if you have got this side, I've got two oranges. On the other side, I've got ten oranges. Then I'll say twelve oranges. I can add because they are like terms. That is the rule you need to follow. Look at this. I have 3m minus 2m. Are they like terms? The answer is yes. There's m here, there's m here. 3m, 2m. Therefore, they are like terms. In this case, you can proceed and subtract. 
How do we subtract numbers first? You just did 3 minus 2. What's the answer? 1. The letter involved is what? Or the variable involved is what? M. So don't forget. So this will be 1M. But is it correct to, for you to write like that? No. I do not want you to be writing like this 1M. This in mathematics is called repetition. Just like in English language, when you say repeat again, no, no. We don't say repeat again because repeat and again, you're talking about the same thing. So in here, this is repetition, 1M. No, but what would be the correct answer? You just say M. So you just say what? M. The answer there is M. Don't write 1X, 1Y. Mm -mm. Just to say, if it's X, you just say X. If it's M like this, you just say M. So this is the correct answer. We look at B. 4X plus 3Y. What is the correct answer here? Well, you look at the terms. I've got two terms. 4X this side, 3Y this side. Can these two be added? No. There's X here. There's Y here. So I can't add them. The answer to this will remain the way it is. 4X plus 3Y. And just like that. You can't add things that are not like terms. We now proceed to C. 5A plus 3B minus 2A plus 4B. What do you do? The first thing is for you to rearrange these. You start grouping them like terms must be next to each other. I've got 5A. Do I have another one with a, the A here? It's here. So I will be able to say 5A, the pair is here, minus 2A. Now, check this. Minus here, minus here. There are those with those of you students with that concept of this one when it is when you bring this here it changes the sign will be positive here is this where we apply that concept no we don't apply that concept under algebraic expressions please i'm begging you only apply that concept of swapping the signs only when you are dealing with what equations only equations when it is when it has got equal sign for example if this is positive 10 when it crosses the equal sign it becomes what negative 10 that is where we apply not here don't you write the signs the way you are seeing them so 5a minus 2a then plus 3b the other pair is here plus it or B, like that. Like I was saying, like terms can be added, can be subtracted. So these are like terms. I'll subtract them. What is three minus, uh, what is five minus two? It will give me three. The letter involved is A, just like that. On the other side here, I've got plus three plus four, which is it? Positive or plus seven. So you write plus seven, letter B, or variable B. Can these two be added? Sometimes in the exam, because of, uh, I don't know, you continue until you write 10 AB. No, you can't add these. This is the final answer. Now check out, when you are simplifying algebraic expression, never should you be putting these. That is wrong. We are not dealing with equations here. No, we are not talking about equations here. These are algebraic expressions. You don't need to be putting this. It is wrong when marking. This is wrong. So you just do it in that manner. So in this first part, we'll be able to end here, ladies and gentlemen. But before I go, I have to tell you that we have online classes for GCE 
in the following subjects one english language so we have english language we also have mathematics we have science we have biology we have adma those of you who are taking additional mathematics okay so these are the subjects that are currently available under senior secondary please get in touch lessons have already started these are reliable reliable i must tell you reliable online classes they are pre-recorded there'll be nothing like you at work you'll be able to miss nothing absolutely nothing you'll still be able to find those lessons you download the video watch you attempt exercise that is being given submit according to the due date attached to that exercise pamphlets are there notes are there even the test that is the last thing we do every topic that we cover test will be given to you not only the senior secondary but also the junior secondary junior secondary we have english language integrated science mathematics and social studies so please join our groups now those of you in grade 12 grade 10 to 12 this is your time to join tell your parents huh? this is the time to join if you want to contact me i only have two numbers please uh, contact me on 0777 448-440 or the MTN one which is 0969-3884-93 at the end. These are the only two numbers. For more information and everything that you want to hear, uh, contact me on those two numbers. And remember, you don't have to forget to share the video. Follow me on Facebook, TikTok and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.